If you're just getting started in version 2, I recommend you start over in the admin, general config, and system setup. And this will cover some of the basics that are used as merge fields throughout the system. So your company information, for example, uh, where you add in your name and your website and your email, all these things are going to autofill throughout the system on your contracts and on your receipts. Uh, so warehouse address, some people say, well, I don't want people to know where our warehouse is. Go ahead and fill it in because this is the information that would show up as billing information. The information under warehouse really is to help you get the routing to work. So go, go ahead and fill this stuff out as well as you can earliest and latest party times, whether or not you require an email, a default tax rate, minimum order. Redelivering is how much time do you want before that same item can rent again. So if you set it to two hours, for example, it might go out twice in the same day, maybe even three times. Uh, Ten hours pretty much means that you're going to do it once in a single day. And uh, you just keep going through all these uh, text messaging. You only get a text message if somebody places an order uh, within a certain number of hours before an event, usually 24 to 48 hours. That's also a setting in the system. Um, otherwise, you'll get an email every time an order is placed. And, um, and then once you've gone through that, then uh, you're going to want to go in and pick one of our templates, or if you're getting a custom design, uh, we'll be working on with you with that directly. Service areas is where the system will automatically fill in the uh, cities and states, I, I mean cities and zip codes within a given radius. Um, so you can use this autofill zip codes and it'll find all the zip codes in your area and add them to your list and then you can add um, your delivery fees as you see fit either by city or zip. And, uh, and then after that, you're going to be going into the products area and adding uh, categories first and then items. So hope that gives you a quick overview on how to get started um, with the new setup of your event rental system software. Have a great day and let us know if you have any questions.